Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Matt Holliner. I wanted to make a quick video talking about the changes that we've been seeing when it comes to tornadoes, snow, and winter weather in general. And the biggest takeaway, winter is absolutely getting warmer. This is tracking average winter temperature since 1970. And notice how it's gone up across the board to varying degrees. Out west, temperatures haven't increased as much in the winter time, but in the northeast, Great Lakes region, in some places, we've seen winter temperatures increase by more than five degrees since 1970. And that's, of course, leading to other changes as well. And one of the things that we're seeing are more wintertime tornadoes. When you look at the number of tornadoes that occur in December, January, and February, or three winter months, it's been going up, particularly since the early 1990s. If you draw a line tracking the trend here, notice there's year-to-year -year variability, as there is with all types of weather phenomenon. But there's definitely an upward trend. We're seeing more years now where we have these tornado outbreaks that occur in the winter time. And remember that the winter months are when we typically see the fewest number of tornadoes. Now, what's also interesting is along with this upward trend in tornadoes during the winter months, we're seeing a downward trend in the number of tornadoes during the summer months. So you could draw a same kind of line from the early 1990s to today but it's the opposite direction when you look at the summer. We're actually seeing a gradual decrease in the number of tornadoes that are occurring during June, July, and August. Now, the reason for this, well, we're getting more warm, humid air in the winter months, but you don't just need that. You also need cold, dry air coming in. So what's happening in the summer is we certainly have the warm, humid air in place, but we're not seeing as much of the cold, dry air. There are not as many cold fronts that are sweeping across the country in the summer months. And so all this kind of evens out, and there's not a clear trend in what's happening with the number of tornadoes. It's really staying about the same. We're just seeing the timing change. We're seeing more tornadoes in the winter months and fewer tornadoes in the summer months. Okay, let's talk about snowfall as well and the changes that we're seeing, because it depends on the season and your location. Now, in the fall, mainly looking at October and November, 80% of weather stations have seen the amount of snow drop since the 1970s. But when you look at December, January, and February, we're actually seeing more stations that have seen increased snowfall amounts. And that might seem strange considering the temperatures have gone up. But what we're seeing is that when it's actually cold enough for snow, we're getting more heavy snow events, more of those 8, 10, 12 inch totals. We're seeing more of those. And so in some locations, it's actually boosting snowfall totals some. But just during the winter months, you jump ahead to the spring and notice it's back to most places are seeing decreasing snowfall amounts. So when you add up all three seasons, what we get is that 63% of weather stations have seen snowfall amounts drop, 36% have seen snowfall amounts go up. So could that continue, especially for the Great Lakes and Northeast, because that's where we're particularly seeing the snowfall amounts go up? Doesn't look like it. When you plug the data into the climate models, they project that snowfall amounts will ultimately be going down, even in places where they're currently going up. Ultimately, we think that the increased warming is going to lead to more rain events than snow events that ultimately will decrease the amount of snow. That's what's being shown here. This is a climate model that was plugged in with different greenhouse gas concentrations. See that 4.5, 8.5? That's different levels of greenhouse gases, the 8.5 being more, so even more warming occurring in the period of 2041 to 2095. And so you compare the probability of seeing 2.5 centimeters of snow, or about an inch of snow on the ground, from 1951 to 2005 to 2041, 2095, and notice these dark shades of red indicating about a 90% chance of an inch of snow on the ground, those go down. Notice not as much red showing up. And as far as those shades of green, notice less of that too. So there's more and more locations farther to the south that have an almost 0% chance of seeing an inch of snow on the ground between 2041 and 2095. So we know the climate is changing and we expect it to change even more in the future, which is all the more reason why we need to take action now to reduce greenhouse gas emissions.